as disingenuous as it looks. Melissa Lee. I commend this bill to the House. Five-minute call, Cl Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Yeah, Mr. Co uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, well, it's all, it's all right. The one flew over the cuckoo's nest over there needs to tell this House, Nick Smith, the one flew, who, flew, who, who frequently actually flies over the cuckoo's nest, needs to tell this House why he won't support Damien O'Connor's amendment. Because I've got to say, Jerry Brownlee led off this debate. But Jerry Brownlee forgot to tell the House a few things. Because the old Brownlee family on the West Coast has some very, very interesting heritage. I'm told, I didn't know this, I knew he was a member of the Manetti brother, Brothers Band. I didn't know that he was a sawmiller. Oh, yes, big time sawmiller. From sawmiller to woodwork teacher. The, probably the most qualified person in this House to talk about Rimu and cutting boards and things like that. But what I didn't know, what I didn't know was the Brownlee heritage of being a big sawmiller on the West Coast was they took the money and ran. Oh, yes, they took the money and ran and they went straight over to Canterbury and I'm told the only thing left of the Brownlee sawmilling heritage for economic growth on the coast is a flash batch near Mr Arkenvall in Mapua, I'm told. Oh, yes, Mapua? No. Brunner, sorry, Brunner, I apologise. They all look a bit the same. Brunner, but I have to say this, as Nick Smith stood in the House and insulted West Coasters and told they were basically amateurs, they couldn't cut the logs themselves. The challenge for Nick Smith is this. Damien O'Connor has put up an amendment to say, OK, if you're going to do this, if the objective is to help the coast out and help them out do they need it, after this crowd over there with solid energy ran that... They talk about jobs. They ran solid energy into the ground. Nearly a 1,000 workers, not the white-collar boys in the offices with the $23 million worth of bonuses. Oh, no, the people who are in the pit, in the mine, in the shaft, actually keeping the company going. And Mr Arkenvall over there, old Captain Mannering and his ilk, who stood there with the Minister of SOEs and did absolutely nothing as a 1,000 jobs went down the river, as $400 million of losses and debt went out, and Mr Finlayson and every member over there just stood there and said, oh, see no evil, see no evil, we will do nothing. But oh, when there's a bit of opportunist stuff, the logs go over, we'll do what we can to try and create some politics. But again when challenged, again when challenged to say, OK, if you're going to do it, accept the member for the West Coast's amendment that says the jobs and the economic growth and the benefit are, 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 are meted out and uh, left in the West Coast, so West Coasters get that benefit, that economic benefit. Oh no, it's the Jerry Brownlee principle. Take the money and run. Take the dough and run. As he did when he was a sawmiller, now a woodwork teacher, but you know, oh how the mighty have fallen. Um, they run from it. So I challenge those members over there, if this is all about helping the West Coast out, the new member beside Mr Finlayson, whose name I cannot remember, if it's all about helping the West Coast out, then the challenge for these guys is to accept the O'Connor Amendment, say, OK, we're going to do it, we're going to mill it, and we're going to make sure that that economic benefit is not trucked over to Canterbury, fair go, or helicoptered out to Rotorua, because that's where the guys will come with the big, with the big helicopter heavy lift stuff, and the economic benefit will go elsewhere. If they're really serious, Mr Lutuoinga, he knows I'm right. If they're really serious, they'll accept the amendment. They'll say the economic benefit will reside where the benefit should be, and that is the West Coast. Or they will adopt the Brownlee principle of a dash for cash. I haven't seen Jerry dash many places, but the dash for cash. A sawmiller who headed over the hill and all the economic benefit went over there. So that is the challenge, Mr Speaker. That is the challenge for these guys. That is the challenge. And I say, sir, they can get up tonight and they can... And Damien O'Connor does reserve the right to vote the way he does because on this side of the House, on this side of the House, we ain't led by the nose. Like the lions and lambs over there, Mr Arkenvale, who talks tough, talks tough about the West Coast, but when it comes to the crunch, nowhere to be seen. So we, he reserves the right to stick up for his local area because what he's actually sticking up for is an amendment that says the economic benefit should reside within the West Coast. And these guys have no credibility as they let a thousand coal mining jobs go down the pit. They back the guys who were wasting money, 23 million bucks, and they have the guts to come in here 
and talk about jobs, sir. When they let a company that was an export award-winning company put masses of millions of dollars into the West Coast Order. slide Time's into the expired. abyss, they should be ashamed of themselves. They should Order. show some guts. Order. Uh, Catherine Delahunty. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, in this short time left before dinner, I'd just...